Hey, what is up everyone? Danny and Alex. Today we're going to look at some submission attacks you can use for mixed martial arts as well as no gi jiu jitsu from the mount position. So check it out. All right, so the first position is going to be the classic arm bar. So what Alex wants to do is place his palms onto my chest, one over the other. This will facilitate so he can press and move his body weight from his knees to his hands and raise up on his toes just as such. Boom. All right. So now once we have this beat, he can just raise off the mat and swing to catch the arm lock. And we're going to show you once again from a different angle. So if the arms are here, he places the palms one on top of the other. All right. So you want to circle the arm you're going to attack. All right. So now notice how he just pops up off the mat like this, all right? So toes on the mat, so that way they can distribute the weight onto my chest. Now when he's ready, he wants to rotate facing you guys in the camera so his leg can pass through over my head. Now the next one's gonna be the key lock, right? Um, when I first started Jiu Jitsu in the old days, you used to say the key lock, shoulder lock, figure four. Um, some people even call it the American lock. Uh, but we refer to it as the Americana in Jiu-Jitsu. So um, if it was in a context of a real fight or mixed martial arts, a lot of times what's going to happen is if he's striking from the mount position, I'm going to have to cover up. And this gives him the perfect angle to trap the wrist and pin my arm to the ground. Now he's going to post his elbow, grab it here, and make sure everything is nice and tight. Now you can paintbrush to attack the Americana lock. Once again, if there's strikes involved, I'm going to have to cover, and eventually this gives to attack the shoulder lock. All right, so the next one, he wants to get an arm lock, but he needs a setup to do so. So a lot of times, if I'm nice and tight here, protecting, waiting, maybe he's not striking, he's going to apply pressure right here. This is going to cause me to push him away. When he does, what's going to happen now, he's going to slide his knee into the double attack position. Once from here, he's going to trap the arm, keep it snug against his chest, box me in by placing his hand in front of my face, now passing his leg. Now once again, here we go. So from here, causes that reaction. I want to press away. Now he boxes me in by turning to the side, make sure that this is tight and his knee is right where my shoulder is. Now he doesn't want me to bend the arm, so I'm going to defend. So he wants to keep this nice and tight against his chest. But I might try to move to escape, so he's going to box me in right here. Now I can't move, pass his leg, and finalize the arm lock. All right, from the mount position, I want to show you guys a little bit more tactical is when you are here, sometimes the opponent might try to trap and roll you. So they're going to trap your arm, circle you in, and roll you over. Right? One great counter I like to do against this is once you are here, you might even bait him to do so. When he wraps the arm, in order to nullify this, I'm going to place my elbow here and push him away. In order for him to bridge me on this side, he needs to look in that direction, so drive this shoulder off the mat and pin me here. But when he wraps everything up by doing so, now he can't trap and roll me anymore. So what we're going to do now is we're going to walk higher by bringing our heels onto his waist. And now stop the bridge. From this position here, I'm going to hug nice and tight, and I'm going to hold onto his wrist Pass my leg over his face and finalize what I like to refer to as the Superman armbar. All right? So one more time here. He traps the arm. One. I counter here. I start to move my legs higher up into the armpit. Hug his arm. Pass my leg through across the neck. And now from here, finalize the reverse or belly down armbar. All right, building on this, I want to show you guys another trick is sometimes when he go for this technique, he's going to trap here and now we're going to get to the same position where I start to climb up higher, wrap him up, tie him up, and now seize here. What happens now is like I can't get this because he's going to start to pull the arm tight and also drive my foot away from his face. So he drives the foot over. Now you're going to hook behind his head, roll to your side, and now from here, finalize the exact same position. So once again, he traps, counter that move, walk higher, seize him here. Now, if you can't get the arm just yet, 
just hug nice and tight and set up your knee position first. Now pass your leg behind the head. One. Once you're here, roll to the side. Keep the arm, knees tight. From here, finalize. All right, so we talked about some arm bar positions. Now we're going to look at how we can attack the chokes. So from this position, in no gi jitsu or mixed martial arts, the neck is always a viable option because sometimes it gets slippery. And when you wrap the neck, you have a higher chance of success to finalize your submission hole versus a straight arm bar attack. Now, from here, the first one we're going to do is we're going to hold on behind his head as such. When I'm holding on here, a lot of times I'm going to be trapping this one with an overhook. So we're going to use this hand and close this like this, like a knuckle fist. Now we're going to place this against the neck. As I'm pressing here now, my other arm is going to go and wrap itself on top, make a hook on your forearm. From here, you're going to drive and finalize a nogi version of the Ezekiel. So once again, trap the neck, nice and tight, post over his arm, bring your fist against the neck. Now place on the mat, release, and hold on to your own forearm here. Now drive forward, bring all of your weight, and that will create the pressure for the choke. Next up, we can use the guillotine. When I'm in the mount position here, what we're going to do is sometimes people try to push you off. So if he tries to drive me to the side here like this, I have two options. Number one, actually three. Number one, I could switch my position. Number two, I could base out. And number three, of course, I can capitalize on that and attack a submission hole. This is what we're going to do. So as he pushes me to the side now, I'm going to bring my arm across and back inside. Notice how my fingers go palm up, wrap, create space, and go right under the chin with your wrist. Now from here, place your elbow down. You can also post onto your hand. What you're going to do now is arch and finalize what we call the guillotine from the mount. One more time. He drives to the side, base out, bring your elbow across, wrap his neck. From here, adjust. Make sure you're onto the neck and not on the chin. Now you can adjust from here and drive to catch the guillotine choke. Now, a quick trick on this one is, if this was mixed martial arts and crucifixes are allowed, I like to use this in combination. Once you go for the neck, a lot of times he's going to be holding on to your wrist. So you can't quite get the choke right here. He's defending. So what we're going to do now is place and swim under his arm. So I want to keep his arm away from his neck. All right. Now I'm going to switch my base from here beside him. And as I switch, I'm going to release his head. I'm going to walk into a Keza position, but with the neck in position. That's going to create the submission hole for a cervical choke. So once again, I go for the guillotine. One, I can't quite get it because he's holding onto my arm. Notice how the arm swims through against his neck. From here, there's quite a lot of pressure. For the tutorial, I want to release Alex's neck. All right? So the arm is trapped here. His head is still under the armpit. For explanation, I'll keep his head out of the armpit. I'm going to switch my base, get beside him, and from here, as I get my base position, I'll switch into the Keza. What happens now is his head is still stuck here. So when you switch to the Keza, you'll drive pressure against the neck, which will create a cervical choke. So I'm getting the guillotine choke. He's going to trap the wrist, post here, drive down, base out, and from here, drive forward. But I'll release. You would sit all the way here with the neck. All right? So I just want to apply the technique on Alex. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. So there you have it. Some submission attacks you can use from the mount position for mixed martial arts. Guys, hope you enjoyed this content. Leave us a thumbs up. Make sure if you're new here, subscribe to this channel for more content similar to this one. Until next time. See you guys in the next video. Take care.